hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards i have decided to first of all add the shooting mechanics to our game so for the shooting mechanics first of all we will be setting the animations so first of all click on animator then change to the layers uh, tab right here and then select the base layer and as you know that on the base layer we have the player movement right here so what i am going to do is First of all, we're gonna declare the parameters. So after the is grounded, we're gonna create another bool by the name of shoot. Okay. Then let's go ahead and create another bool by the name of shooting movement. Okay. Then another bool will be shoot walk. Then shoot reload and then just simple reload okay so now the next step is to create a substrate machine okay let's name this substrate machine as movement and in here what we're gonna do we will drag and drop this player movement so now player movement is in here Okay, you can move these other things like this. That's it. Now, go ahead and create another substrate machine. Move it right here. And just simply name this as shooting movement. Okay, now let's actually open up this uh, movement. And in here, as you can see, we have this blend tree. So, what I'm gonna do, I will just simply duplicate this and move this to the base layer. Okay, where it is. Oops. Okay, here it is. We just actually need to zoom out a little bit, okay, and then you will see it right here. So just simply now drag and drop this inside your shooting movement. Okay, here it is let's remove the zero from the end okay so now we have player movement on the shooting movement substrate machine and on the movement substrate machine as well okay now let's open up the shooting movement first of all and now let's go ahead and set this up so double click on it click right here we need to just change these motions in here okay so if you go inside animations let's now find the animations so the first animation will be this uh, soldier aiming idle okay this one okay so open this up this is the motion click on your blend tree and drag and drop this inside the idle okay after this uh, minimize this and search for aiming walk Okay, so aiming left, aiming right, aiming run. Okay, here it is, aiming walk. Okay, so open this up, click on blend tree, drag and drop this in the second one. Okay, then we need to find the aiming run. Okay, so actually, if you go back right here, this is the aiming run. Okay, so click on this and drag and drop the aiming run in there. Okay, now if we click on the plant tree and play the animation, make the vertical value zero. Now, as you can see, this should be our animations now when the player is uh, aiming, okay, or you can say uh, shooting. This will be the animations for that. So, now we have the player movement uh, plant tree set up. You can actually now name this to shoot or shooting movement okay so that you guys don't get uh, confused okay so now we need to set up the reload and other animations as well now so when the player is shooting and moving then we will be playing this uh, recharge animation if we drag and drop our player in there okay so this should be our animation reloading and the player is walking okay 
I have these uh, these two animations are from these animations but I have edited this okay because uh, in these animations we didn't have any reloading and walking animation so I have just edit uh, some of these animation and in the result we get this and this one as well okay aiming walk so now uh, in the shooting movement substrate machine okay this one just drag and drop this okay and you can name this as reload okay let's uh, leave it up there now we also need the uh, aiming walk again okay this same animation drag and drop it uh, in here and now name this as shooting because when the player is moving and shooting then we will be playing this animation okay and this is the walk and reload and this is the basic movement all right we need to now connect these all animations as well so make a transition from shooting movement to shooting and then from shooting back to shooting movement okay and select the first one remove as exact time okay uncheck that and in here we will make the shoot walk true then select the other one remove as exact time and make the shoot walk false okay and guys make sure that you follow me step by step okay don't skip the video or else you will get or uh, actually you will miss the animations because many of you guys then just uh, I mean I appreciate it that you guys ask me to help you but many of you guys confuse in this and then uh, you guys got problems okay so make sure that you follow me step by step in order to avoid any problems okay so now make a transition from reload to shooting and you can just leave this as it is because when we are done reloading then of course we want to get back to shooting now from this any state make a transition to reload and uh, what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna uh, make the shoot reload true actually uh, we need to make the shoot reload and reload uh, triggers okay not a boolean so we can actually delete these two okay delete it and create a trigger by the same name okay shoot reload and make another trigger just by the name reload okay then select this transition from any state to reload and as you can see shoot reload is already set up right there okay because the name was same so that's why so once you do this then after this uh, move your base layer right here and now from this shooting movement make a transition to base layer click on uh, i mean don't click it but just uh, move your mouse to the states and click on this movement okay and in the movement as you can see we have this player movement okay so from shooting movement to our substrate movement and in the substrate movement we have the player movement blend tree okay so make a transition to that select that transition then and uh, make the uh, box and check and make the shooting movement true uh, I mean false so if uh, the player is done shooting okay and now the player wants to move or uh, run away from some position then of course we don't want to play the shooting locomotions okay we want to play the simple basic locomotion so that's why we will make the shooting movement false so that the player uh, knows that now we are no more shooting and we want to go back to the movement okay which is the simple locomotions these ones okay let me show you these ones so as you can see from this shooting uh, movement uh, substrate and then shooting movement blend tree we created a reference to the base layer movement substrate and then to right here as you can see this is the transition okay now uh, inside the movement substrate now make a transition from this uh, player movement to base layer state shooting movement 
and select shooting movement as you can see we can see the reload and shooting animations as well and we can see the shooting movement blend tree as well so make a transition to that now select the transition remove that and when the player start shooting and moving then we will make the shooting movement true so that the player will then go to shooting movement locomotions okay these ones as you can see okay and the player can also reload while shooting and shoot while walking okay so now our shooting movement substrate is done okay most of the uh, things are done let me move this any straight right there so that you guys can see properly okay as you can see now we need to uh, do some changes in our movement uh, substrate as well now so if we open this up in here let me move this right there and this one right there we now need to find the reload animation I mean aiming recharge actually its name is aiming recharge okay and this is now a reload where the player is in uh, standing position as you can see and this one the player is walking and in this one the player is standing okay so we're gonna drag and drop this right there okay change its name to reload and then what we're gonna do we will find shooting animation which is this first one single shot as you can see so we can just drag and drop it right here change its name to shooting and now from any state make a transition to reload and select it and just simply uh, make reload trigger right there okay and after reload the player will go to shooting make this transition as it is okay you don't have to pass any condition and then let's make a transition from player movement to shooting and then from shooting back to player movement select the first one remove as exact time make the shoot this time make the shoot true okay not the shoot walk shoot select the other one remove that and this time make shoot false so that is it for our movement substrate as well so now as you can see they are all connected with each other okay the animations are set up and make sure that you follow this video step by step and now when the animations are done in the next video we will start adding some shooting to our game so see you guys in the next one